Greetings, YouTube. I know from analytics that my channel has a global following of like 100 plus countries, and that still blows my mind, and it's hard for me to believe that those aren't all just bots. <laughs> sort of a joke, sort of not. Um, but I had somebody recently reach out to me. I'm going to call him Cost because I cannot pronounce his full name. Cost reached out to me and thinks that he could be the first Bulgarian crystal opening commentary submission I've ever had on my channel. And I say, I can't think of another. But the fact that somebody from Bulgaria loves the crystal opening commentary series and wants to submit one for himself is just really freaking cool to me. So shout out to Bulgaria. Didn't know I had fans. Apparently I do. And hopefully the fans, unlike Oklahoma, aren't mostly ceiling fans. All right, so here we go. We are starting off with, you know, the usual low stakes of popping rank-up materials for Act 6. But, uh, you know, the question is, is this going to be worth it? And oftentimes, the answer is, no, not really. But you have to think to yourself, will it eventually at least be able to give me Something exciting to look at. Now, we have a Nexus Crystal. That's pretty dang early in the process. So let's pause this. What the hell? Literally hell because Satan's in the right. I have commentated many a Nexus Crystal in the last six months. I can't think of something more ugly. Particularly because you already have all of these five stars at one dupe. What are the odds that everyone's SIG 20? If you didn't have one of these champions, or one of them wasn't even a Platinum Star, regardless of whether or not the Awakening ability matters, at least you can justify it's a first-time Platinum Star, which is always a win. But this could not start off more ugly. Bro, talk about the cost of a bad, literal, crystal opening for a Nexus. I don't even know who you choose. I guess I'd choose a MODOK or Age of Venom. I certainly wouldn't choose Satan herself, but maybe he wants to for the memes. I don't know. All right, MODOK got his choice. I'm sure he's looking at that like, really? Can I, can I re-roll? Can I get a mulligan, please? Wow, all of that worked for Act 6, and that's the nexus that they give you. Just pitiful. And when he scrolls all the way down, he's got four calves. Give him a five-star out of these, you know? Just give him a five-star. Hey, Bulgaria still does the pep method, my friend. Pep, look at you with that global reach, allowing your, uh, your method to be literally global. All right, so maybe he'll fast tap these. Generally, calves are things that I, I don't want to say I skip through, but I kind of just want to see the highlights of. Because in terms of the stakes of the crystals, you're mostly going to get three stars. These are regular calves, not even featured calves. And even on featured calves, you're normally going to get three stars. And uh, four-star Moon Knight is certainly certainly better than uh, a three-star, but still a four-star. Okay, let's keep going. Let's just Let's just see. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, we're pausing right there. Sorry. That's what happens when you just assume when you haven't watched something that, that you know what's coming, right? Um, let's, uh, let's play it from right here and see if I saw that correctly. I've never had that happen. Rolling over a three-star Dormammu to get my man that I'm hunting, the dad bod. The dad bod and the awesome beard. All right. Cost. I literally cost myself some excitement. By assuming you're going to get all three stars from these. It normally is what happens. And so I kind of feel guilty having uh, the summoner spend two minutes of their time watching crystals land on three stars. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should just let it go and know that the true 6% that watch every second aren't going to mind two minutes of watching calves. I mean, they're still calves. But, uh, y'all, this, uh, this was a reminder, a humbling reminder, that you can indeed, while trying to save the viewer time, end up missing that super exciting five-star moment. This is why I fast forward because normally it's just a bunch of three stars. It's a bunch of uh, three star Miles Morales. So we got four star Sorcerer Supreme for the first time, but we saw that big pull. Red Guardian, way better than anybody who happened to be in that five star Nexus. That's for dang sure. Does he have anything else at the end of this crystal opening? The Bulgarian crystal opening. Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay. He was so happy to finally take down that Grand Master. And I don't blame him. I think it's just so cool that somebody from Bulgaria, I got to be honest, I might be a college professor, this is for journalism, this is for video production, it's not for uh, for uh, history or geography or math, thank God, but uh, 
I, I couldn't tell you where Bulgaria is on a map. I couldn't tell you. Maybe I shouldn't admit that. Maybe I should just pretend like I'm, you know, smart. But uh, no, no idea. I'm going to have to look that up after this. Just just for the sake of trying to understand how a Oklahoma, you know, YouTube channel reaches to a place like Bulgaria. All right, no featured champ in terms of the new featured roster, but Sim Supreme is a great quote-unquote miss. He is 665, so 665 would be different than 685. No, not really, but still a great champion to land on. But this is not why he bought these new crystals. He bought them for the new featured champs, or probably, you know, Wolverine. So give him a Professor X, give him a Wolverine, give him a Dragon Man, give him a Hit Monkey, give him a Guardian. Come on, show us that good featured champion for this young man all right here we go bulgaria in the house quake i mean you can't complain about quake he also has her though man this guy's roster is just deep and that's a first time platinum star of quake you don't need her to be awakened but i will never turn that down for offense unless i'm talking about somebody like og spidey who that random evade actually messes up with my parry don't do it nope no six star feature don't Get off this screen. You don't want this. You want the basic. Stop it. Move it. Realize you're about to make a big mistake. There we go. <laughs> How many people are going to put me through that? Where they stare at the featured six star for like 10 seconds and flirt with the idea of hitting that tap button. I have known people who've done that. And if you don't open the crystal, kabam, sometimes, keyword sometimes, not a guarantee, but sometimes will give you back your shards and realize you made a mistake. But once you do that, there's a chance. You just got to open that featured six and it's going to be most likely trash. All right. First six star. Come on. After that five star Nexus, give him somebody great. And that is not great. I hate fighting six star green goblin. I remember the first time way back when I used to do Alliance war a year and a half ago, when I would fight, when I would fight, even with the blade and ghost rider synergy, I still hated fighting green goblin. He's just so annoying, and I'm not the best, especially with that special two at distancing myself from dexing the special. I'm just going to freely admit that. All right, come on. End this with a bang for Bulgaria. Internet phrases. No! No, 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 no. That's banging my head against the wall. Not going out with a bang like a exciting shotgun. I don't, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Bulgaria, come on, man. Kabam, don't do Bulgaria like that. Boy, I've had a dollar for every time I said that in a crystal opening. <laughs> Just kidding. I'd, I'd have one dollar. Um, man. Well, I am honored that this happened because I got to commentate this. But Kabam threw Bulgaria some shade on this crystal opening. I've been doing this crystal opening commentary series for three years now. And... Um, Green Goblin and Rhino as the two six stars when you complete Act 6? I mean, come on. You got better luck. The best luck you got was those regular calves and I guess the five-star featured crystals. All right, YouTube. Well, thanks again to uh, Cost for the submission. Kabam threw some shade at Bulgaria. That's going to be the title of this video because uh, we've never had a Bulgarian crystal opening commentary before, and now we do. So, uh, you know, life goals.